You're listening to GWFM. there humans i go by your friend grace and welcome to gwfm a series of interviews from my world about the world today i am joined by jab who is a drummer overall extremely musical person and we've only i guess known each other for i guess like in person we met each other in person recently um last month it was like a couple weeks ago so it's been a please a welcome <laughs> please welcome to gwfm jeff so Hello. happy to have you here thanks for appreciate having me appreciate you yes of course of course so oh my gosh i always forget the world fill in the blank but we just gonna get into it now um jeff's world is adapting pretty easy going and determined and i absolutely love and agree with all of these uh fill in the blanks for sure for sure um so jap this is another question that i ask before i get into the real questions how are you today and don't lie (laughs) uh i'm doing great uh i have a little bit of work to do after this so i'm kind of dreading that but other than that i'm chilling yeah feel that feel that is it um is it like schoolwork uh, yeah, I took a class kind of recently. Um, I kind of have to like, take some tests for that. So oh my, I have to get okay. Ready for that. Yes, sending sending uh good vibes. Everyone send good vibes um, to Jeff for his work. <laughs> uh, okay, so getting into the first question, 
how did you and i've been i've really been wondering um how did you start in music and then how is it similar or different to what you do now in okay. music um let's see uh I guess it was really the, the start start of it was back in fourth grade. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of schools will do it where like they'll, you know, make you play a recorder. And then at the end of the year, um, they'll mm -hmm. make you choose an instrument. Yeah. Yeah. And at Me first uh, I was going to do a uh, violin or something because my mm. mom really wanted to and she's like that's like the you know that's like classy mm. and it's like right a lot of smart people play violin you know my mom <laughs> like, mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but I really just loved the idea of percussion solely because it was like it was the only choice out of the instruments we could pick that was like multiple instruments right um yeah because they weren't necessarily teaching like drums in fifth grade like um so it was like every song that they'd give you you uh our teacher would like rotate us on like a bass drum part or a snare drum part or a xylophone oh, part so i really mm -hmm. that was really appealing to me to like uh play uh just a variation of uh instruments yeah uh so that was the, like the start of it and then i stuck with that mm -hmm. like like all my school years uh okay. that was like definitely one of the constants and okay. i mean still uh right that has stuck with me was playing and i remember in middle school i actually really started getting into it because of my band teacher uh mr dobick shout out uh, I genuinely out, don't think I would, I would be a drummer still without him oh, um, or even nice. really started mm -hmm. but no he was an incredible teacher uh I actually I remember this conversation with him um mm -hmm. so a lot of drum, uh, early like percussion parts are yeah. relatively like simple and uh especially for like uh, beginner like charts um, like okay. for band music it'll be mm -hmm. not like a lot of uh rests in playing so you're like you're mm -hmm. kind of like waiting around a lot to play right 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 so uh, that was kind of annoying to me like i mm -hmm. i just wanted to play more so i mm -hmm. i brought up to my teacher um like i i'm kind of like I, I, there's like too many rests like uh and i see like the saxophone players are playing you're like i'm ready like, i want to play <laughs> i want to play saxophone now because they get yeah, to play like all put the time. me in yeah and he's mm -hmm. like nah uh <laughs> you're staying on drums and i'm so glad Dang. uh and then really my first drum drum set experience was uh i believe it was i started doing jazz band Oh, okay. That was a that cool. jazz is so hard, but it's so mm. like so rewarding. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, jazz band, uh, middle mm -hmm. school, and then high school kept doing it. I did a uh, marching band for my last two years, and that really yes. improved. Yes. Uh, my my brother was a huge like my brother also did marching band oh, and sorry. like the like the work ethic that goes into it is like insane it's a lot harder than most people would think i i so, was mm -hmm. uh, i was very surprised um mm -hmm. but it was it was really cool i i i'd like to do it again one day yeah like i i, I kind of wish like marching band oh got you i wish i kind of like continued i played cello mm -hmm. but obviously no i would have been <laughs> i wouldn't have been in marching band but i wish i would have like picked up an instrument that like you know the marching band entailed because we're so you were drumline yeah i was drumline okay. so yeah. the first year i played uh bass drum four which is like the biggest one they had which is ah, okay oh my gosh i ran into yeah some sorry can we is that the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You're, good. you're good okay you're good. i said yeah. uh what was i say i i ran into like so much <laughs> stuff uh -huh. um I, I remember I like I, I tripped over a fire hydrant and then 
I like yeah. back into because we had to march backwards for this one. So yeah, wait. So like during during a performance? Is no, it was. Like... I've never okay, okay. fell during a performance. Yet. Okay, okay. Uh, it was that's good. It was during practice, which is where oh if it's gonna God. happen anywhere, it should be during practice. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So so it's did, like mm -hmm. I did yeah. bass drum, and then mm -hmm. my second year I did quads, but that was COVID year, so we didn't really get to mm. explore that too much. Okay. But yeah. Wow. And then how's it changed for me now? Is that the second part of the question? Yeah. So like in your current reality and music, um, how is it similar or different? Uh, well, it's definitely more like, I guess, uh, like a, like personally, uh, mm -hmm. controlled for me. Like I'm not part mm -hmm. of any, uh, cause I mean, most of the stuff I was doing with music was, uh, through like my schools or like extracurriculars right. at schools. So yeah. I was um, get that gave me kind of like a structure to, like, yeah. oh, I'll go in at this time rehearsals rehearsals at this time. We have like a full schedule of our contests and our concerts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Now yeah. it's definitely more um, independent slash like based around like my bandmates or people that mm -hmm. I'm playing with at the time. Um, yeah, uh, practice is really on me uh, yeah. and. But um. practice doesn't feel like practice. It's kind of just more like fun to me. Uh, okay. I cool. honestly do not practice correctly. Um, <laughs> I guess like in my okay. mind, it's not correct because uh, I, I really mm -hmm. all I'm doing is like, is I'm going on my Spotify. I put in my like headphones um, mm. and I'm just like listening to whatever music I'm listening to at the time. I, and I play okay. along to and try to do oh, cool. something unique with the drums on that what well, even if it's mm -hmm. a song without drums or with like electronic um, drums i try to fit like acoustic on it and so it, it gets my like sick. creative juices flowing right um, right so yeah i guess that's how it's changed i guess it's been more cool. like a personal growth rather, yeah. rather than like being uh like guided in a certain direction mm-hmm mm -hmm. That's awesome. So it seems like your your musical background in your schooling kind of led you to kind of your own personal um, like worth work ethic with playing now. Um, I wanted to ask this because um, I mentioned my brother did marching band and he was also in jazz band. So I went to many a band concerts <laughs> for school. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, like, on average, how many band concerts do you think you did? In oh school? my gosh, that's <laughs> it's probably like. Uh, I think it. It's around like two big ones at least per year. Okay. So, like, it's let's say like sixth through twelfth grade. Yeah. So. We'll do some calculations. Twenty something, <laughs> and then. Yeah. Yeah not including like other smaller stuff and that's not including because mm -hmm. jazz and concert band would be separate so it'd be two yeah so it'd be four per year technically total mm -hmm. uh, it's let's just say like <laughs> a lot <laughs> did you get close like 30, with like 40 your, or something? did you get close with like your band crew like the people that you're around um some people i'm still friends with today okay um let's see a lot I didn't keep in touch with, uh, okay. sadly. I, I wish yeah, I did. It's kind but... of natural, kind yeah. of, you know, once you graduate, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's that's amazing. Um, yeah, I definitely, like, you know, after, for context, um, uh, when I was in Chicago, Jap was on drums, um, and we had, uh, that was my first experience with a live band, and... It just could not have been more perfect. Like literally, y'all were like on it, like literally on it, Thank and you. I actually it was I, incredible. I didn't mm -hmm. know that was your first experience with a live band because, like, you actually <laughs> like just like it clicked like immediately. Oh, I remember at Music Garage that. the day before. It was like it mm -hmm. just worked. Like so, I I, really... I was like, "There's no way it's the first time." <laughs> I mean, first day, that's crazy. 
I appreciate doing. that. I appreciate that. Yeah, and and I I said I'm gonna be back, and I most definitely am gonna be back. Um, so the second question is a little bit more kind of um doesn't have to be music related, but what does your perfect world look like? <laughs> oh wow! What does Jab's perfect world look like? Maybe like a few elements, you know anything really mm. just to, like in general yeah um i would say so um i mean you can't really get a perfect world but you can True. always improve on what we have and i definitely think like a improvement would be like like everyone getting their needs me uh, eh. everyone mm -hmm. getting their needs met because we like <laughs> yeah absolutely have the means to do so um right. so like housing needs uh yeah uh food like insecurity that these are all issues yeah. that are very uh solvable especially mm -hmm. with today's technology so true uh i think that would be pretty cool yeah if we could get that. that's such facts wow great answer um yeah thank you for that so next question who is the most influential person in your world now like doesn't have to be yeah again doesn't have to be music related but hmm. yeah that, that's hard to pick one person <laughs> yeah you could you could throw some you could throw multiples in there if you want i think zach um, might have I definitely say like in general uh it would be my parents. Huh. Um cuz they uh they did like uh sacrifice a lot to mm -hmm. be here and they they gave me a really good like baseline to grow off of. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm first generation. Uh Oh cool. So they awesome. They they worked very hard to Mm. give me the life that i have so i'm really happy for that and uh i definitely yes. owe them a lot for that amazing uh, so i would definitely say them but uh i kind of do want to add like a musical influence okay. uh i'd say man i have actually so many of those too mm -hmm. but right Throw now multiples. Right now, uh, drummer wise, mm -hmm. uh, I've been really into like Zach Farrow's drums uh, okay. from Paramore. I actually saw him. On oh. I'm like still like show. Oh, that's but right. His Dang. man, he is. He like exudes like energy when mm. he's like playing, and it, I just like really hope to replicate that someday. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing! So. Wow. Awesome, awesome. Um, thank you for that. Um, so, um, I guess this could maybe tie to the answer that you just gave. I don't know, but uh, if you could collab with anyone in the world on anything, who and what would it be? So again, it doesn't have to be music. I've been telling everyone, I'm like, you could um, start a, I don't know, started i don't even know start a <laughs> coffee company with someone or you know i don't know i was about to say go on submarine trips i'm like oh no oh, not that no. i don't think i will be doing that ever <laughs> not that Actually, but you I've, get you get what i'm trying to say i've been on one and you know the ones that like sea world or whatever or universal yeah. i think they go like two universal feet in the water them? though it's like two feet wow. in the water though I think it's Dang. you know somewhere else. I don't know. At some yeah, place, yeah, yeah. some place like one mm -hmm. of those some aquatic, some aquatic place adventure type place. Oh it's kind of cool. Gosh. <laughs> Yo, that's. I don't wild. know if I'd go thirteen thousand. Facts, facts. I don't know. I, me and water. I'm like even cruises. I'm like I don't know about it, but you know. Water is terrifying. Facts. Uh, oh shit! What was the question again? Um, if you could collab with anyone in the world on anything, oh right, 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 who um, and what would it be? 
Um, man, I mean, wow. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people in the world. There's a lot of people and there's a lot of stuff to do. Nice. Um, well, I'm currently um, studying architecture. Okay. And so oh, yeah. uh, there's an architect named uh, Zaha Hadid. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like really, I love her work. Um, mm -hmm. And so it would be really cool to collaborate on a project with her someday. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's amazing. You could like, would you ever build your own house? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. I Any location ideas? Chicago. That, I don't know yet. <laughs> Chicago. I I think I'm definitely gonna stay in Chicago for a bit, but okay. who knows? By the time I build my house, maybe somewhere else. Right. Yeah. Possibilities are endless. All right. That's incredible. Yeah. Um. Send me the floor plans when you have them. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> I want to see. All right. So that i think we completed or on the final question so any final words or shout outs anything you would like to plug into this episode of gwfm um i'll plug my band i guess uh ugly nate yeah. shout yeah. out big things coming soon yes ugly nate. very soon actually uh I know we we use like a soon as like a very like mm -hmm. it's just like it, it's dumb like it's kind of a joke now uh, but... <laughs> post soon and then it like never comes out. Got but it. Got it's, it. It's serious now. It's serious. We got like yeah. uh, we got some deadlines. So yeah, uh, it's uh, some new stuff coming out, and it's uh, I'm pretty proud of it. We're all pretty proud of it. So I'm pretty hyped mm -hmm. for that. Uh, shout out Zach no, and uh, yeah. Chicago Made. Uh, yeah. Great stuff. I mean, Zach even like set uh, like all of us up like with the whole Grace show uh, wow. in Chicago. So yeah, shout out him, of course. Big shout out. Big uh, shout out. Shout out Grace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Thank you guys. laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I was going to... um. I was going to mention to the people, I'm like, even the process of just like, you know, Jap, Judy, Zach, like the process of putting that show together was like insane as well. Because like literally, I think you guys, would you say you guys were practicing like two, like two for two months or like a month, two months, something like that. Um, um, yeah, something like that. We, yeah, there's, and there's the, some space in between, but we, mm -hmm. had, a couple, we had like three rehearsals before meeting yeah something like that. yeah and they literally like um put together like a google drive with like all of your rehearsals and then i would go back and listen to the rehearsals and just like pretend that i was there and just like mark the songs and it was just really fun it was amazing to see how it all came together and you guys are so professional y'all have such bright futures you have such a bright future and yeah, I'm excited to see all that you do. And um, two more things. Um, I shout out Ugly Nate because I think I did mention to you while I was in Chicago that I wanted to see. I wanted to see the gang. Um, so next time, uh, yeah, next time for, for sure. sure, for sure. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm, you know, I'm a fan of y'all's music and y'all's work. Um, and then the <laughs> the last thing I was gonna say is um, if you've ever played any um avenge sevenfold songs i've actually not I'm okay not. i will learn some now though so. okay because um i wanted to ask because i grew up like playing guitar hero like all the time mm -hmm. and like avenge sevenfold like they had a couple songs on there and they were like some of the hardest like songs on drums so i was like wondering if it like translated into the real world because they have this song called like backcountry that's like crazy on drums um and also um what band what is it uh dragon force have you ever played yeah. any dragon force? Yeah. yeah they're hard though yeah, but yeah it's crazy 
Yeah. Which one or one? Uh, I mean, it's through the fire and the flames. It's like the one I yes, everyone knows. That's the one. That's the one. It's so hard. Oh, it's so hard. Yeah. Actually, a funny story about Guitar Hero. I would never mm -hmm. play drums on it. I would always play guitar. Really? I even mm -hmm. had like the I had the drum set and my I remember uh one of my friends from Canada uh mm -hmm. he came over and like just over the holidays and stayed for a bit and we mm -hmm. we grinded the hell out of no, it wasn't guitar it was like rock band it wasn't guitar okay. though, I remember but mm -hmm. I mean same thing yeah. uh, and I had <laughs> like uh like the drum set but i never used it because i like sucked at it like okay i, I just couldn't play wow. oh he would play the drums I... and i would play guitar mm -hmm. and i enjoy playing guitar more on that to be honest wow that's wild yeah my um through the fire and flames like my my brother yeah i keep saying my brother because he was the one who like just he was obsessed he used to play through the fire and flames like on hyper speed yeah, expert and he could literally do it blindfolded which is crazy so i'm wow. like that's a party trick i gotta i gotta bring him i gotta bring him to to my parties bring him to y'all but yeah all right so now i have some info um yeah and now you gotta play some event sevenfold songs and sure. post them <laughs> yeah i've been trying but... to i've been meaning to record more drum covers it's just like yeah it's uh, definitely go for logistically it. i gotta mm -hmm. find time and then right. edit and then all that understandable well yeah i look forward to it um you know best of luck on everything that you have going on right now um and yes i'm so happy that we all got acquainted and i'm really excited for the future so thank you so much Jap for coming on this episode of GWFM. It was nice to get to know a little bit more about your world. And yes, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye. You're listening to GWFM.